Okay, so today's presentation is about our final exam. Now, the final exam will be happening on Thursday of this week. And what we will do is it'll be very similar to the learning checks the, that we have done throughout the semester. So basically, um, I will write the test probably tomorrow night. Um, and then on Thursday at 12.15, it will be posted and you will have until midnight to finish. Now, I do recommend taking your time, of course, uh, and reviewing all of your work. Um, but this quick presentation will give us some tips, strategies, and look at what the sectional focus points for the exam will be. So let's jump straight into it. So what will the sections be? Section one will be sentences identification, and there will be uh, 10 points allotted to uh, that particular section. Section two will be sentences corrections. Um, so I really recommend going over all of your correction codes because I'm expecting you to not only fix the uh, sentence errors, but also to tell me what type of mistakes uh, were shown in, 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 the, in the sentences that you are fixing. So like, is it a comma splice? Is it a subject verb agreement error? Is it a spelling mistake? Is it a punctuation mistake? Uh, those types of things. You can use the codes that we've already established and you guys should be familiar with those codes by now because I've been using them as I've been giving you feedback in all of your um, submitted assignments. So again, 10 points will be allotted to section two. Section three will be sentence writing. This will be a chance for you to show me your ability to create sentences. I will give you some guidance. I will provide for you the type of sentence that I want you to write um, and the linking words uh, which I'm hoping that you use. In fact that you will have to use if you want to receive full points for your sentences. So there will be 15 points allotted to that section. Section 4 will be paraphrasing and triads of support. Um, so this is a chance for you to show me your skills at being able to take a piece of work from an original document, put it into your own words, but also to provide correct uh, the, the correct alignment of uh, our triads of support. Now, just a quick reminder of what a triad of support is. Uh, you have the, the concept idea, which introduces uh, the main idea that you're going to be working with. Then the second sentence in that triad is the citation, which will have to be done with proper APA um, formatting. So you'll have to either use an integral citation or a non-integral citation. That choice will be up to you. Or perhaps I will provide you with the guidance in the question itself. And then se a sentence three of your triad will be your analysis of the um, con concept and citation. So three sentences make up a triad. Concept sentence, citation sentence, analysis sentence. Excellent. That's, so section four will be um, showing me you can paraphrase and showing me that you can set up those paraphrases as triads. Section five will be the paragraph writing section. So I'm going to be looking for you to write two different paragraphs. So one of the tips here is that you should go through and review the different types of paragraphs that we've looked at. So we've done summary paragraphs. We have done uh, descriptive paragraphs. We have done analysis paragraphs and we have done essay paragraphs. So any of those four types of paragraphs, I might request that you write them for me. I'll, I'll state that again. The, the four types of paragraphs are of course, summary. Descriptive paragraph is the second type. The third type is an analysis paragraph. And the fourth type could be any of our potential essay paragraphs. So I might ask you to write an essay introduction. I might ask you to write an essay uh, conclusion. You should review all four types and be ready for them. And uh, again, there will be 15 points allotted for our triads of support, 15 to 20 points allotted for section five. So altogether, you can see that the uh, entire final is probably gonna be about 60 to 70 points um, up for grabs. And again, um, your entire uh, final will be, if we go back over here to our, we can always go back and check the original syllabus, right? If we wanted to um, find out the weight of the final, I've always got all my documents ready to go, right? So if we go down through the list, you can see here that we are indeed in uh, week 10. Um, and the final exam will account for 15% of your final mark. So don't forget, it's it's worth a it's worth a pretty penny. It's worth a big chunk of our our entire grade. So we're hoping that you will be able to um, do your review cycle over the next few days and um, put forward some of your best writing. Um, now also. Don't forget, we've finished our first draft of our essay. The good draft, the final draft, will also be due 
uh, on, on Thursday, the same day you're going to be writing your exam. Um, so you've got all the way up until Thursday both to do your studying and to finish your essay, the, 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 the good copy of your essay, and submit it. We've accrued 10% of the points from the essay already on those first drafts of each of the body paragraphs. But the final effort will be worth 10% as well. So just something to be um, mindful of there. Now let's quickly uh, complete this second page. Something is not right. There we go. Okay, so here are some strategies that I uh, would encourage you to use in your studying and preparation cycle for the final. So um, first of all, I will be providing two review packets. The first one will go up today. This will be a packet of uh, review questions focused on our work with sentences. Um, and then tomorrow I will provide a review packet that will look at uh, doing a couple of paraphrases, uh, setting up at least one triad of support, and then at least one practice essay, uh, sorry, practice paragraph, not an essay. I wouldn't, I wouldn't throw that guy, that at you guys in, uh, in short order like that. So, but there will be a review packet today and there will be a review packet tomorrow. If you work your way through those packets, you'll have an idea what type of questions you will see on the final. Um, they're, they're all, all, for all of my final exams, I always make a brand new test for every class. Um, similarly, these review packets are completely unique as well, but they will look very similar to the, to the worksheets that we've been doing throughout the semester. Okay, next, um, I really encourage you to go back to the um, sentence formula worksheet. We had that worksheet that uh, is, is on our VIU Learns page that has all of the formulas for the different type of sentences that we've been learning over the course of the semester. Please put some time into reviewing your formulas, okay? Um, you will be able to get some points even for just writing down the formula correctly to the type of sentence that you're working with. So um, go through that worksheet. Now also, I would recommend using your novel, The Alchemist, um, and do some paraphrasing practice. Just go ahead and pick any, any little section that you want to try paraphrasing. Do the paraphrase. You could even set up a proper citation for it. Um, and if you do any extra work like that and send it through to me, I will try to get you feedback before uh, the final starts so that you can um, take a look at the feedback and hopefully gain something from it, right? Um, and then again, yes, also this could be done from The Alchemist or from any of the short stories that we've worked with. Um, you should practice by writing at least three unique triads of support just to get you ready, right? Um, and finally, uh, another tip, there will be one uh, new, brand new reading as part of the final exam. Now, it might be part of the um, paraphrasing section. It might have something to do with one of the paragraphs that I ask you to write. I haven't decided on that yet, but I have picked the reading. Um, so there will be a brand new reading from cbc.ca, although I've altered it slightly for the purpose of this um, exam, and it will be part of our test. Okay, that's it. Very quick. Um, go through, do your review, practice your sentences, practice your paraphrasing. You can practice writing uh, uh, any of the types of paragraphs that I mentioned. Um, the final exam, again, will go on Thursday. It'll be open from 12.15 to midnight. And this is it, guys. This is a chance for me to show you what skills you've learned uh, around reading, writing sentences, and writing paragraphs and citations. So it's time for you to showcase uh, what you've done as a student over the semester. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, hopefully this will help set you up for success.